Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you how to sign up and install Google Analytics on your WordPress and HTML website. I'll install the code on WordPress with and without the plugin and also show you how to do it on plain HTML website. Arnie, how do you track your users? Tip sweat punch. Alright, we will start from scratch. The only thing I assume is that you've already signed up for a Google account. You don't need to have Gmail for that, but you have to have an email associated with Google. If you still need to do that, check the link in the description. And if you want to jump straight to certain part of the video, that's also in the description below. So let's get started. Go to Google search and type Google Analytics. Then select the first option. It will ask you to log in. Just fill the email and the password and click on the next button. Then it has a bit of info about the steps you can take, but we will skip this. So just click on sign up. And don't worry, you won't get calls from Google like this. I need some money immediately. But I just wanted to install Google Analytics. I know. On this page, you will set up your Google Analytics account. First, you will need to enter your account name. I would keep this name a bit more high level so you can name it after company name or client name. But usually each account has multiple websites under it. For example, one for testing and one for developers. In my case, I'll just call it tips with punch. Next, give it a website name. You can just use the domain name, for example, store monkey WP. Then in the drop down, select if your website is using HTTP or HTTPS. You really should get an HTTPS. It's more secure and Google likes it more. I'll show you how to do it for free in the video that appears on your screen now. Anyway, next type your domain name. In my case, I don't use the www, so I'm going to exclude it. If you use www, just put it there. In the next drop down, select the industry closest to your website and then select the time zone you are located in. The next checkboxes are optional. You can uncheck them if you want, but basically Google is asking for your permission to track your Google Analytics account and that they can see your data. If you're not comfortable with this, then uncheck the boxes. If you don't mind, then just leave them like they are. Then click on Get Tracking ID. A pop-up with Google Terms and Conditions will appear. Select your country and read through them. Fuck you and accept the conditions. Now Google is setting up your analytics account. This might take a bit of time, but once it's done, just close all the pop-ups and you will see the Google Analytics tracking code. This code is written in programming language called JavaScript and it basically loads another JavaScript file from Google on your website. This file enables you to see data in Google Analytics dashboards. Next, we will place this code on your website so that you can start tracking it. I'll show you three ways to do this. First, with WordPress plugin. Second, on WordPress but without the plugin. And third, on plain HTML website. You can check the description for timestamps so you can skip the stuff you don't need. And in a few minutes, you'll be walking around your town like this guy. Hi, Oma. We'll meet again. <laughs> To install a WordPress plugin, just log into your WordPress and go to Plugins and Add New. In the search box, type Google Analytics. Now, the most popular plugin is the one from Monster Insights, but most features are only in the Pro version and there is a lot of upselling going on there when you set it up. I think when you're starting out, this plugin is a bit too much, so I prefer a simpler one, which is called GA Google Analytics. It's a third option in my case. Just click on install and once it's done, don't forget to activate it too. Once it's activated, we need to change a few settings. So go to settings in the left menu and choose Google Analytics. Then scroll down and click on Plugin Settings. Now switch back to Google Analytics and copy the Track ID. 
For this plugin, we only need this part. This ID is unique, but don't worry, you don't need to keep it as a secret. Anyone can pick it up from your website anyway. It's publicly visible in the code. Paste the tracking ID in the first field. The rest settings you can keep as default for now. Once you learn more about Google Analytics, you can fiddle with these. One thing I like to check is the disabled tracking of admin level users, just so you don't track yourself while logged in in WordPress. Then click on Save Changes. Now, let's test that this works by switching back to Google Analytics. Then you can either click on Send Test Traffic, like this, or open a new incognito window and go to your website. Once you do that, you can see that you have one active user right now. Good job, you have just installed Google Analytics. Be prepared for ladies coming to you like this. What you been feeding this thing? Google Analytics. If you find this video useful so far, I would appreciate if you could hit the like button. That would mean a lot to me. Next, let's install Google Analytics on WordPress without a plugin. Go to Appearance and choose Theme Editor. Now, in the drop down on the right, you can choose the theme you want. If you use a child theme, then you should add the GA code there. Otherwise, it will get overwritten when you update your theme. In my case, this is a test website, and apparently, I was a lazy slob and I didn't set up a child theme but a video of how to do it will appear on your screen now. It's not mandatory, but if you plan to update your theme later, then this is a good step to do. So, let's scroll down in this menu until you see the theme header or something similar. It should have header.php beneath the name, then click on it. This file is called header.php and it's loaded on all pages of your WordPress website. So scroll down until you see the head closing tag like this one. Arnie, how's your code looking like? <laughs> Crime Labs with your four wins. Okay, let me see if I got that right. Crime Labs sit in four wins. Above the tag, make some space. Now switch back to your analytics and copy this whole code block. Then go back to WordPress and paste the code above the head closing tag. Let me make it a bit easier to read by selecting the whole thing and pressing tab a few times. And don't forget to save the file here at the bottom. Now go back to analytics and press on send test traffic or you can open up an incognito window with your website URL. Then if you go back to analytics, it should show that there is one active user right now. This means you've just installed the analytics code successfully. And guess who the first user is? All your base are belong to us. Lastly, let's take a look how to install Google Analytics code on HTML page. I'll use cPanel's file manager, but you can also use FTP software like FileZilla. Most hosting providers have cPanel, so you should be good. I'm now in my cPanel dashboard just click on File Manager and then locate your HTML file and right click on the file and choose Edit. Here we have an HTML code for simple page. Just find the closing head tag like this one, then switch back to the tab with Analytics and copy the whole code snippet and paste it just above the head closing tag. Let me make it a bit easier to read by selecting the whole thing and pressing tab a few times. And don't forget to save the file here at the top. Oh really? Now go back to analytics and press on send test traffic. Or you can open an incognito window with your website URL. After a few seconds it should show that there is one active user on your website right now. And that's it, you've just successfully installed GA on your HTML page. Now keep in mind what you have now is a default installation of GA. It's pretty good for most people, but for example, if you have an e-commerce website, it's better that you set up enhanced e-commerce. 
so you can track your revenue and orders in Google Analytics. A video for enhanced e-commerce will appear on your screen now. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!